Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I would like to explain how to remove DX31 ransomware that belongs to the Fullbus family. It ends that users all around the world asking to pay a ransom to a cryptocurrency wallet. The most noticeable sign of the attack is the appearance of ransom notes titled info.hta and info.txt, and all your photos, videos, documents and stuff are having the DX31 extension. The extension also contains the victim ID and the hacker's contact. It may change from one attack to another depending on which group of frauds performs the attack. Ransom note of this ransomware contains the information about what's happened, how to pay the ransom and how to contact the frauds. Malware leaves it in every folder that contains the encrypted files. Let's talk about file recovery and decryption. Do not trust any file recovery services or channels that say they guarantee to get the files back after this ransomware attack. No one can guarantee this, unless they are working with ransomware actors or trying to scam you. Such services may be costly as well, comparable in the size with a regular ransom if you calculate the total loss. The reason why there could not be any guarantee is that the files are encrypted with a rather strong cipher, which makes it nearly impossible to decrypt. Nonetheless, there is still a possibility that you will get your files back for free. In the past, decryption keys were released when hackers decided to seize their activity or when law enforcement managed to detain the leaders. Another opportunity appears when the ransomware uses vulnerable encryption. In this case, cybersecurity analysts will be able to elaborate a decryptor that does not require a leaked key and will remove the cipher by simply hacking the encryption string. You may think it is not enough an occurrence, but for January 2024 alone, there were two such decryptors released. Keep an eye on the news on our website, howtofix.guide. We will get you notified. For now, I can only advise you to seek for the files in online backups, email messages and social media. You could have put them in a place that was not affected by the ransomware, so the files are completely usable. But before any further steps, including the attempts to recover the files, I'd insist you to remove the malware from your computer. By doing this, you ensure that ransomware will not re-encrypt your files once you manage to get them back. Moreover, in a number of cases, such malware was not the only one in the attack chain. Hackers spread spyware, backdoors and drop a malware along with ransomware, so the total damage may be far beyond encrypted files, you just cannot see it yet. To get rid of all the malware you have in your system, regardless of its origin, I'd recommend using Gridin Soft Anti-Malware. This program will get through the entire system and eliminate every little piece of malicious software present, and be sure after the ransomware attack you have plenty of such stuff. Full scan is the best option here, as it will check all the volumes in your system. For that reason, actually, it may take some time, up to 10 to 15 minutes. You will see the detected malware throughout the scanning process. Do not interrupt it. Once the scan is over, all you have to do is to click Clean Now. This starts the malware removal. When you have a lot of detected items, this process may also take a minute or two. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.